Hey, it's Randy from UC Status, and today I am not doing a video about a mouse. Right, as I said before the break, I am not doing a video on a mouse. I have a mouse in front of me, but I'm actually doing a video on a Teams device. I'm doing a video on something that I can use with Teams in meetings and calls to optimize the experience. So what I've got is the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. You're thinking, it's not a Teams device. Well, it is, trust me. So while this is a mouse, it's not an ordinary mouse. Normally a mouse has a right and a left key, maybe if you're lucky, a scroll, and, and, and that's about it. But this mouse actually has a number of buttons. It also has a desktop companion tool called Options. With Options, you can actually customize the experience and actually use it to control the Teams application. So here is a screen after I've already installed the options tool and I've already installed a profile. But effectively what you can see here is in the mouse control, I've got little circles over the gestures and buttons. And basically what I can do is I can control and program what they do. I've also got up here profiles and applications that I can install. So for this, I've actually used the Teams application and then within Teams application, you can see that I've got three buttons here that are kind of specific for it. So one is the volume up and down. So if you're using a headset or indeed a speakerphone, you can actually control the volume just by scrolling up and down on this wheel here. But this is where the real magic comes in. So a lot of times if you're in a webinar or if you're in a long meeting, you want to stay on mute just to make sure that you can respect the presenter and what they're actually trying to show. But if you want to ask a question, you need to come off mute. Teams does actually have a way to temporarily come off mute. It's a recent invention, but effectively you hold the control and space bar down and you can come off mute temporarily. You release the keys and you're, you're back on mute. But what if you want to come off mute a little while longer? Obviously you can fumble around and try and find the mute button on your headset, your speakerphone, or actually just use the mouse to find the mute button and hit it that way. But what if you could just do it with the press of a button on a mouse? Well, actually you can. So you can see here, the back button here allows you to mute and unmute the microphone. Just one key. Once this options application is installed, you just hit this button to actually mute and unmute the microphone. And what about video? Obviously video is pretty pervasive now, thanks to the pandemic and everybody working from home, trying to be a little more close together, but there are times where you want video off, at least temporarily. So if you're on a video call and video is turned on, sometimes you wanna turn video off, maybe to step away for a little bit, to go somewhere in your office, to turn around or so forth and so on. You can obviously use the mouse to go and find the video key. You can hit a keyboard shortcut to actually uh, turn off and on video. And obviously you can program things like Stream Deck and things like that as well. But what if you could just do it with the mouse? So with the default Teams uh, application profile installed, the forward button on the mouse actually becomes a video toggle. So you can actually start and stop video just with a press of a button. Now all these keys are actually configurable, but I'm just gonna leave them as their default. So I have actually got a Teams meeting started here, as you can see, using a different webcam and a different mic source, but this is just a Teams meeting going. Now for this bit, I've just zoomed in on the actual mouse itself. I've got the team meeting going there, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna hold the mouse down just so it doesn't move out of this optimum shot. And I'm just gonna show you what I can do with these two buttons here. So as I said in options, if you press the back button, now watch the mute key up there in the corner. So if I press the back button, that mutes the microphone. Just one key with something that's probably in your hand already, and you're gonna be able to mute the microphone. 
the same thing with the camera. So obviously video is on now. It'll be very obvious when it turns off. I press the forward button and video turns off. Really nifty. Press the back button again to come off mute and press the forward button again to turn on video. Pretty cool. So being able to turn off and on your camera and mute and unmute the microphone with a simple set of keys is fantastic. But I could take it one step further. All of the buttons on the mouse everywhere are actually completely programmable. So I've got a button, you may not be able to see it down here with a little kind of bottom of the, uh, the curvature that hits the desk. There's actually a button and obviously you can see that I've got the button there. So what you can see is I've actually got a keystroke assignment. So that's just a normal keystroke um, that you can assign to make it do something that is in Windows. So if I just hit that, you can see I've got a keystroke assigned, but obviously you've got more, you can go and do some more things. There's nothing in here that's specific to any of the applications, but what you need to do is leverage the keystrokes that you can use in the applications themselves. So for those that don't know, Control Shift K works specifically with Teams, as long as the actual meeting frame is in focus. If you press it, it raises your hand. You press it again and it lowers your hand. So now I've got something that's totally useful in, in a Teams meeting. I can mute and unmute the microphone. I can start and stop video and I can raise and lower my hand all with just the touch of a button for something that's already in my hand. So as I said to you, I'm not reviewing a mouse. I am showing you a Teams device that I can use to completely change the productivity while I'm in meetings. At the touch of a button, I can now start and stop my camera. I can mute and unmute myself, and I can raise and lower my hand. That's it for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.